What's up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here, and today we're going to create a temperature converter. Programming, gaming, fitness, Jesse Warden. I've got this app on my website here, and you can see the source code and actually see and play with the app. It just converts Fahrenheit to Celsius. So when some of my European friends say, hey, it was 20 today, I'm like, I don't know what 20 means. I can convert it and vice versa. I always feel rude saying I love hot weather and they're like, I don't know what your stupid <laughs> Imperial Fahrenheit means. So I can convert it back when I say it's like 82 and they're like, oh, 27. Gotcha. Okay. So that's what we're going to create today. And we're just going to use Ellie app because it's just easy to code in the browser and it's a small app. So we don't care about saving our code, installing extensions, blah, blah, blah. It's very similar to code sandbox IO. And we're going to do most of our coding here. The one thing I'm going to add or change is we're going to use the Bulma CSS system. There's a big hype on using Tailwind right now, and that's great. Tailwind's awesome, but I just don't have time or the inclination or the desire or the motivation or care to create my own design system right now because you got to take all those classes and kind of create your own and then abstract them, kind of like you know classes or components, and that's fine. I just want to do class button <laughs> and it look like a nice button. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to add this at the top. Stolen anything, we'll just delete the existing style they have and paste in a link to the Bulma CSS on a CDN, as well as the font awesome stuff here. And we put that in a head tag. So when our LMAP loads, we'll have all our stuff and we'll be good to go. So you can compile, won't see anything, but if we see these two buttons, we've already got the margins changed and a little bit of the text. And you, you know it works if you go to the button and you simply just add the class of button. And it's going to ask us to import the class for the HTML attributes. So we'll go ahead and import HTML attributes. Exposing all of them. Well, we'll just do class for now. That's fine. And attributes has one T. Thanks for helping me compile. So you can see it actually works with our buttons. So we have a nice looking button now. So now that we have our CSS in play, we can go ahead and start creating our app. So I'll walk you through it. 